Hey, what's up, guys? Um, just uh, testing some stuff out, and so far, this is what I have. So, when I uh, highlight something, it doesn't have to be that, it could be that. Let's go with this. So, uh, this gets updated. I, I was just playing around to see if I can have, uh, you know, like panels for, for uh, like, a, like a tab tab kind of interface here. So I was thinking, click this, it shows uh, an area. Click this, shows another, another, and so forth. And uh, it would, uh, it would sync in with uh, these, these here. It's, these, these are supposed to be like tabs too, <laughs> but uh, only uh, the highlighted one. Well, in this case, normal would actually be uh, the silver one. And the other ones would be darker. I haven't gotten that far yet. And, you know, so forth and so forth. I'm not, I was just playing, playing around with the styles and, uh, I don't know, I, I can't get it to, to work, to look exactly the way I want right now, but I'll keep trying. Uh, let me move this over to, uh well yeah there there is a I was thinking of uh using uh, the breadcrumbs also so you know when uh, if they haven't actually done anything uh it would automatically go to the normal and then uh top left you know the nine slice so when the they would actually uh, select select uh, the actual area first from the atlas image and Right, it's supposed to have one of these circle things on each corner. <laughs> yes, I know. I just dra dragged that <laughs> into view. Okay, fine. I'll leave it. Al leave it alone. <laughs> and uh, you know, it, you left click and you drag and you can reposition it. You know, if it's if it's like if it's uh, off, but uh, it would actually. Uh, I haven't implemented it yet, but. All of these would have uh, actually for for the ninth slice, you would have you would draw the main one, and then it would it would draw two lines horizontally and two lines vertically, and you would get this dot to appear right right uh, in where they intersect. So not only would it have it on each corner, but it would have it a dot. Where it intersects, so you can actually drag it, so you can manipulate. Uh, uh, let me see if I click one somewhere. So if I uh, if I did it like this, and so this dot would actually uh, be con would control the the corner, not not only the corner but uh, all all of the bottom, like so bottom left, bottom bottom right. And as well as the the right side and the right top. So yeah, I mean it, it affects all, all of those at at one time. So that, you know that's that's what I'm going for right now. So yeah, there, 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 there. Uh, where is it? There, there, and there. So you can ha have these uh these handles uh all over the place. So this way I don't, I don't have to re like rely on on this, uh, well, I, I'm think I'm I'm not gonna use this. I was thinking of turning this into a min max slider, but I'm not I'm not so sure anymore. I think I'm just gonna use it as a as a like a guide. So when when the user when the user moves this. Or actually, I should say, maybe it'll just follow the mouse cursor, and I don't know. Maybe show the the X position, or actually, in this case, it's the Y. The Y position. It'll just print it out right next to it, and it won't be red. Might be a little darker. One of the grayish or black, something in the grayish area. And I'm thinking when I actually move one of these things, it'll it'll actually show the X and the Y coordinate uh, maybe uh, on top right right over 
right over it. And uh, when you're dragging the main the main window itself, it uh, it'll it'll on the top left it'll show the x and the y, and the, the bottom right it'll show the width and the height. I yeah I think that's that would be good. Well, n not only will it show there, it'll actually update uh, uh, the you know the, the actual uh, x and y width and height over here in the left hand panel. So this is this is sort of an, an inspector area, but I'm I'm trying to limit limit it uh, to, uh, to like uh, you know uh, this uh, like uh, the graphical stuff. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the actual inspector, the editor for the inspector. Uh, I'm thinking of ha having the preview area. Let me see if I can scroll. I'm thinking of having the the preview area actually show the show what what's uh, what's uh, highlighted here by by this. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's possible. I, I I've uh, I noticed somebody else was able to to create their own uh, draw their own preview area. How difficult it is, I have no clue. But uh, he was able to add add buttons uh, on top here. So I'll have like a drop down. So it'll be uh, all the st different states that you want to preview. So not normal, this that, and of course it uh, it'll. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be easy to detect which which state it's actually in at the moment, but I, th I think it might be possible. Anyways, that's that's my idea. That's uh, what I'm uh, aiming for. And uh, you know, if, if you guys have any suggestions how to best approach it, if there's a an easier, well, I'm not looking so much for easier as much as uh, more functional. Alright, take it easy guys. Ciao.